Today, we're talking about a major milestone in the global defense world. After years of development, delays, and anticipation, Turkey has officially begun receiving its first new generation, indigenously developed main battle tank. I'm talking, of course, about the Alte. This is brand new information. Just yesterday, October 28, 2025, a major ceremony marked the official delivery of the first mass-produced new Alte tanks to the Turkish Armed Forces. This wasn't just a prototype rollout. These are the real deal, entering service right now. The event also inaugurated a brand new BMC defense facility in Ankara, built specifically for its production. So why is this such a big deal? For decades, Turkey has relied on an aging fleet of American M48s and M60s, along with German Leopard series tanks. The Alte is their answer. It's their first truly domestic main battle tank, and it's the flagship symbol of the nation's push for technological self-reliance. But the road to get here was difficult. The Alte project actually began way back in the 2000s. The initial design was handled by the Turkish company Otokar, with significant help and technology transfer from South Korea's Hyundai Rotom. You might recognize them as the makers of the K2 Black Panther. But while Otokar designed the prototypes, the final mass production contract went to another firm, BMC. And that's when they hit a brick wall. The project faced massive delays. Why? Foreign components. Specifically, they couldn't secure the engine and transmission from their original suppliers. This setback, however, became the project's defining moment. It forced a massive domestic effort to develop indigenous subsystems. The tank being delivered today isn't the original Alte, it's the new Alte, packed with Turkish-made systems born from that necessity. By the way, the tank is named after Army General Faratin Alte, a celebrated cavalry commander from the Turkish War of Independence. All right, let's get into the specs. What is this new machine? The Alte is a 65-ton, fourth-generation main battle tank. It's operated by a crew of four, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Its main weapon is a 120mm L-55 smoothbore gun, made by Turkey's MKE, which makes it compatible with all standard NATO ammunition. But the engine situation is the most interesting part. This first batch being delivered, the Alte T1, is actually powered by a 1,500 horsepower South Korean engine. This was the solution to get the tanks off the assembly line. The next batch, the Alte T2, is the one to watch. Those 165 units are slated to feature the brand new, domestically developed BA2512 engine. That is the real end goal for Turkish engineers. But the most impressive part? Its survivability. The Alte is built with what its designers call a three-ring defense architecture. Ring 1, advanced modular composite armor, developed by the Turkish company Roketsan. Ring 2, a full suite of electronic warfare and 360-degree awareness sensors. Ring 3, and this is the showstopper, the Aselsan Akakor Active Protection System. This isn't just a warning light. This is a hard kill system. It uses radar to provide 360-degree coverage, and when it detects an incoming anti-tank missile or rocket, sound effect, small thwoomp and poof intercept, it intercepts it. It literally shoots the threat out of the air before it can hit the tank. This capability places the Alte in a very small, very elite group of modern tanks, with this level of advanced, active defense. So what's next? The initial order is for 250 tanks. The first 85 will be these T1 variants with the South Korean engine. The subsequent 165 will be the T2s with the new Turkish engine. The new factory is reportedly aiming to ramp up to 8 tanks per month, aiming for an annual output of 96. At a price tag of nearly $14 million per tank, the Alte is a massive investment. It's a platform born from international partnership, delayed by geopolitical realities, and ultimately defined by a stubborn push for domestic innovation. The Alte has, at last, officially arrived. 